We're getting more fighters after the fighters pass, and when are we getting them, and who will they be? Block content. What's happening, my block buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Blocked Content's Leak Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your content for today. Very famously, Sakurai has announced that next to the characters that we already have in Smash Brothers, we are going to get more. That is incredible, and that basically talks about the fact that Sakurai is the biggest crowd pleaser in the history of modern media, right? He is really doing everything that he can, even putting his own health on the line to bring us all this content, which is amazing, and we should never take it for granted. So now that we know that we are getting Joker, and the hero, and Banjo, and Terry Bogard, there is one more fighter in that fighter's past that we've all, of course, paid for, that we all know that we're gonna get. It's very interesting to actually put money out on something that you don't know what the content will be. It could be something that you don't like at all. But I think that that's the charm of Smash Brothers, and of course, that is what's going to live on right now, because there is more content coming. Sakurai has announced this in that latest Nintendo Direct, where he's talking about, yeah, there's more fighters coming, and we don't know how many they are, we don't know who they are or what the theme is going to be, but I think we've got some ideas, and today I wanted to talk about it with you guys. And for those of you guys who like giveaways, we are giving away a Piranha Plant plushie at 50k and this beautiful What's Happening My Block Buddies t-shirt at 40k. So remember to like this video, really helps out the channel, and subscribe to Block Content. Comment down below to enter for this giveaway and why you think you should have one of these beautiful items. Alright guys, let's head right on into this. So, the Fighters Pass, right? A really interesting array of characters, stages, and music together, but in terms of new fighters, what will the form be that that takes? Will it be additional Fighters Pass? Will it be just another Fighters Pass that you'll put down the exact same money for, and it'll also be five fighters with five stages and a lot of music, or will it be something different? Well, I wanted to talk about the theory that this could actually be something incredibly different. Maybe we're not getting five another characters, because that's definitely the first thing you would be thinking, oh, we're getting another Fighters Pass, right? That's the model that's worked really well for Nintendo, that's made them a lot of money because essentially you would have bought two games for the price of you know two games which is really interesting um, as a business tactic because Nintendo really usually doesn't do that crazy of stuff but now with Smash Brothers and it being relatively easy to add fighters instead of making a new game with a whole lot of fighters that is very interesting as a thing but also thinking about the fact that if it's not this fighters pass with five other characters what would be the through line I don't think that it will be one character, and I don't think that it will be two characters. So I think the most likely here is that we're gonna get three more fighters after it. Because I think if we're gonna get more additional fighters, he's al already talking plural, I don't think two will be that through line because I think that that would, you know, not make a lot of people very happy if they are saying more fighters are in development and it ended up only being two. Of course, we'd be very, very lucky to just have two, but I think three would be perfect, right? Three would feel like the roster is not too bloated, not too crazy, and would also be very interesting to talk about. So maybe that Fighter's Pass would cost a little bit less money than the one with five characters, and then we'd have some content and maybe even some stages. But what if we are getting characters that are not getting stages and not even getting music? That to me is very interesting. So the fact that characters will be a little bit on the cheaper side, just like Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS. So think about this fact. Maybe the fighters that we are going to be getting in Smash Bros. Ultimate, aside from the fighters pass, will be first party. Will be characters that are either echoes or very close to other characters. So think about the, you know, the Dixie Kong kind of characters, or maybe even Funky Kong. So characters that are very close in, you know, physical form to other characters that we have that are definitely first party characters, but that are not, you know, these incredible new third party picks and that could be easily added to the game with a lot of unique animations, but things that are also pretty much, you know, in a sort of wireframe, sort of set in stone already. Now, having those three characters in there that are first party, it would make it very easy, right? They already have sort of a stage because you could grab a stage from the Donkey Kong franchise and for other characters, you know, you could grab them from their first party franchise that are already represented in the game. They already have music there. So it would just be about fighters. I think that that would give Sakurai a little bit of a break too, 
and it would also be a little bit cheaper for the users that you know that don't really want to buy just another game again right it would be a little bit costly to have another fighter's pass and it being you know less characters and paying the same amount for it i know that everybody will still do it but it would still be really interesting if they would change it up, right? The original Fighters Pass, of course, get five DLC character packs as they're released. You know, five downloadable challenger packs released separately over time, them ending in February. So I think that the characters that we are getting after that, and I rumor that it will be three, I think that we're getting after February. So I think it'll go throughout the rest of 2020. I think that they want to you know, definitely close the year and do E3 and all that kind of stuff with Smash Brothers reveals because they really bring up Nintendo stock very nicely. Uh, they get people talking. So I think that, you know, as far as special weapons go, I think that we've got Breath of the Wild 2 to bank on, but also, of course, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is doing a really crazy job of getting people hyped every single direction, every single big you know, event, even if it's just the Game Awards and the new Game Awards of this year in December are already underway. They're already working on that. And so I definitely think that we're going to find out who another fighter is. We're going to find out before then who that final character is in this fighter's pass that comes after Terry. But I think that at something like the Game Awards, we're definitely finding out who is going to appear beyond that. You know, is it a Haihachi from Tekken? Is it a Leon from Resident Evil? Other characters maybe like Gino that make a little bit more sense. Of course, you guys know from our theory that we've talked about with Papa Gino's, with Lax Chris, that this has all been, you know, pretty much in people's minds, that we are going to get more fighters in the game. And I even thought that it wouldn't be possible just because they have to be working on the next Smash game right about now. But no, we are getting more fighters and I think Smash Brothers Ultimate will have a lot longer shelf life. Now, in terms of what the characters will be, right, we are going to get more fighters next to the fighters pass, so they pretty much have to be in a different genre, in a different kind of field than an IT. I definitely believe that fact. So I think that the very most obvious thing is that we're gonna get first party characters. Now, of course, I don't think that they will, this will be, you know, some crazy stuff like Goomba and Koopa Troopas and Cheap Cheeps and Pink Gold Peaches, but I definitely do think that they will be represented already in the game so franchises like kirby franchises like kid icarus like super mario maybe even fire emblem won't make a lot of people very happy but i think that that's super possible i think that you know taking characters that we already kind of love and you know the franchises and getting some new love into there i think would make a lot of sense for smash brothers i think also if nintendo wanted to include more fighters in the game they would really say well Okay, now we have all those crazy third-party characters, some even from rival companies. Now, let's bring in some love from, you know, the actual Nintendo that we are because we definitely deserve to have some of our own characters represented too. Of course, they won't be huge hitters. I feel I think that these will be characters more in line of a Piranha Plant kind of choice. So, do I think Gino is possible for there? Yes, I actually think that Gino is the perfect kind of bonus additional character that could be in that Fighter's Pass. I think that he crosses that line of being, you know, sort of third-party, sort of first party and also a character that a lot of people have asked for but not a character that a lot of people know right the smash brothers audience really knows that character but generally you know people would be saying Gino, who who's this like puppet fighter is that from like some sort of rpg and they'd be right but it's also from a very mario rpg right so please let me know what you think that the fighters pass will be beyond Terry Bogard and the fighter that we're getting. Who do you think will join the fight? I'm very interested in hearing if you have any theories about this. So let me know in the comments down below. If you comment down below, that could actually be featured in our next video. As for a previous comment question, you will always take them from the audience. It comes from Megaboy X saying, DLCs, newcomers, veterans, stay. Benjo Kazooie, King K. Rule, Ken, Richter, Hero, Joker, and Terry. Not to come back. Ice Climbers, Isabel, Duck Hunt Duo, Dr. Mario, and Wii Fit Trainer. Maybe returning? Daisy, Lucina, Dark Pit, and etc. Always returning. Mario, Donkey Kong, Link, Samus, Yoshi, Kirby, Fox, Pikachu, Luigi, Ness, Captain Falcon, and Jigglypuff. Well, thank you so much, Mega Boy. I actually think that you have a really great idea there. Of course, always returning are the original fighters from Smash Bros. 64. I actually think down the line, we could maybe do without Jigglypuff, even though that's pretty crazy to say. Um, I think that that character has not been relevant in Pokemon anymore, and all the other characters are pretty much relevant still today. Maybe returning Daisy, Lucina, Dark Pit. I feel like I don't want them to return anymore. They were great, and they were like Echo Fighters and stuff like that, but I really want Nintendo to make a new Smash game that feels fresh, that feels new, big, 
big and maybe even has less characters that can really evolve a new kind of game style. You know, brand new game mode, brand new styles, gameplay styles for the characters, brand new movesets. So in terms of not coming back, Ice Climbers, Isabel, Duck Hunt Duo, Dr. Mario, and Wii Fit Trainer, I think that those also kind of make sense. I think Ice Climbers in terms of they were cut before, we talked about this in a previous video. Isabel in terms of, you know, I think that if you choose between Villager and Isabel, I think Isabel gets the vote. You know, I think Isabel is a lot more charming, is a lot more like a recognizable character. Duck Hunt Duo, I feel like would maybe return if there's a lot more love for the character, but right now I would say if they're doing a whole rebranding of Smash, Duck Hunt Duo is out. Dr. Mario, I think is strange, right? I think that Sakurai likes the character a lot, you know, even including it in Ultimate right now, which is crazy to have that character in there. And even weirdly enough, you know, having it in Wii U and 3DS, right? Dr. Mario of all characters and Wii Fit Trainer maybe being outshined by like the Ring Fit Adventures character. That'd be strange, right? So characters that are staying, King K. Rule, Badger Kazooie, I agree with. Richter, I don't know. I think that Simon might be staying. Hero, Joker, and Terry, I don't know too. Maybe there's a an exclusivity deal that they have with those companies to only have them in Ultimate, right? I think for Sonic, they made a really good deal where they're like, well, if the character is in Smash 4, Wii U, and 3DS, he'll also be in Ultimate, right? I think that they have a big plan down the line, and if you get these big characters in, you're gonna want to have these really great contracts to make sure that you get them for a longer period of time. So, thank you so much for sending in your comments, everybody. It's been so much fun to talk about Smash news, and remember, if you're not yet a member of the Block Content family yet, don't worry, click the subscribe button button, ring the bell for notifications, and all the news and fun you care about will be delivered on the daily to you. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll just see you around the corner. There's always more blocked content. See ya.